conference will be recorded in case you or other Alice members want to revisit the session. Uh, afterwards, we will share uh, the presentation shared today and the link to the recording session uh, after. Uh, be patient on that, but we'll, you will receive in the next uh, days. And please keep your microphone and camera off when you are not, uh, not, a speaker, not, not speaking. And also uh, think that uh, when your camera is on, you will be recorded and appear in the, in the video. So if you don't want to appear in the video, please switch off your, your camera. So uh, you, while we are going into the different uh, presentations, you can share your questions uh, in the GoToChat and then we will address them later uh, when time it's, it's available. So uh, the, the session for, for today, it's on the carbonizing road freight transport vehicles roadmap. And uh, this is uh, an activity led by our vice chair, John, uh, John Smith from, from Ampos, but unfortunately for very unforeseen and, uh, reasons, he is not uh, with us today. So I, between uh, Rosie that is online, myself will try to cover uh, his, his role in the welcome and in the getting you into the, into the different parts of the, of the session. So what we'll, what we'll do today is first of all, we'll have, uh, uh, Thomas Fabian from ASEA that will give uh, an overview on the vehicles and infrastructure availability from the view of the uh, OEMs uh, association. Uh, Thomas is very experienced uh, person in the European um, environment and uh, he knows uh, by heart uh, almost every new regulation, although now it's still starting to be complicated, so many files going on and we'll drive into that. Then uh, we'll have the release of the zero emission vehicles market analysis done by within the entrance project uh, by PNO. Antonio in video from Calte PNO will drive us into this and we'll try to summarize the, the new market analysis that I think includes more than 150 uh, vehicles, zero emission vehicles. So that's a, a quite interesting piece. Then uh, Oisin Cassidy from Ampos will drive us through the uh, results of the survey and the activity uh, talking to OEMs this, this year. And last but not least, we'll have uh, uh, Stephanie Van Damme from Alice that will uh, address us with a presentation mm -hmm. on the state of play of research and innovation uh, projects addressing this topic, uh, the cloud report uh, mm -hmm. developed under the Booslog project and also the developments in finding user requirements uh, for the CFS uh, project on heavy duty vehicles. So without uh, any further delay, I will like to welcome and give the floor to, to Rosie that will, will do a, a little bit of additional introduction. So Rosie, the floor is yours. Hi, thanks Fernando. Good morning everyone. Thank you very much for coming. I'd like to welcome everyone here today on behalf of uh, John Smith. So as Fernando said, unfortunately John's not able to join us, but John's doing great work in our National Postal Service in Ireland and he is the head of sustainable infrastructure and facilities in Ampost. So we have a large amount of properties and a huge fleet, so he has a huge um, responsibility across all of them. So just to give a quick introduction of what um, I do with John. So I work on the facilities or the sustainable side of facilities with him. So that's just upgrading our properties and migrating our fleet to sustainable vehicles, which as everyone knows is easier done with the smaller vehicles. So the focus is really on the HGVs. So under the activity field of uh, practical application of zero emission roadmap, the work we carried out this year was to use the publicly available list of sustainable options for vehicles from PNO and to carry out a survey um, by contacting the different OEMs on this list. This work was carried out by our colleague Oshin Cassidy, so he'll give an in-depth uh, review of what we found. But one of our biggest learnings was uh, summer is not the optimal time to do this. So we did carry out this work out from June to August. And as you can imagine, we reached a lot of out of offices. So the key learning would be to start this earlier in the year going yeah. forward. Another key learning um, is that there is a limited 
there's a limitation to how much information we can get using publicly available information. So again, going forward outside of the box, thinking to how to engage and open the floor of discussions with OEMs is a uh, key to see where the route to market is. But at the moment, we would have the conclusion that current routes to market for many HGVs are undefined, especially at the scale where companies like ourselves would need them. So I'll keep it brief and thank you very much. <laughs>